Hey, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the top four languages that are in most demand for remote positions so you can live as a digital nomad in 2020. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So, the first programming language on this list is Python. And I know that this does not come as a major shock to a lot of you. Um, I do a lot of my work in Python. I see how valuable Python is. And I really do think that if you're looking to become a digital nomad in 2020, um, investing the time and the effort in really putting yourself on a plan to learn Python will set you up in the best way to become a digital nomad. And I put Python so high on this list because it is so expansive in its capabilities. You can do web development with Django and Flask. You can do machine learning. You can do data science. You can do cybersecurity work like I do. I make a lot of um, scripts. I make uh, a lot of actually data science scripts um, to, to visualize some results that we're doing. I do a lot of automations. So it is just an extremely expansive language and has so much support out there and there's great learning materials. And so stick around for the end of this video because I'm actually gonna be going through um, how to actually learn these, these, any of these four languages that I'm talking about in this video. So in researching for this video, I spent a lot of time on freelancing sites as well as just looking for the various job postings that do allow full-time remote work and one of the those programming languages that was in high demand that if you have on your resume that would definitely put you a step above the others is Swift and Swift is the iOS development language with Swift you will definitely have a great uh, foot ahead in looking for a job and um, so all of these companies, especially now that I'm talking about the freelancing side of it, all of these companies need a phone uh, application presence. That, that, is the day, that is the day and the age that we're in. So there are a lot of great opportunities um, to capitalize on this by doing freelance work for the company in Swift. So like I said in the last one, um, I did spend a lot of time looking at job postings and freelance websites and the this is not a major shock to a lot of you, but JavaScript is highly in demand in 2020. I personally am not a major fan of JavaScript, but if you know um, some of the major frameworks like Node or React, you have a great opportunity to make money as a freelancer or as a consultant in 2020 um, by knowing JavaScript. And of all the frameworks for JavaScript, React.js was the most in demand framework for remote positions. So I'm really excited to see the reactions that I'm gonna get from this next language, but the next language that I would recommend for being a digital nomad in 2020 is PHP. And surprisingly enough, a lot of people think that PHP is really outdated, but 50% of the web is written in PHP. And there are still a lot of companies that are maintaining PHP projects, and a lot of developers that have moved away from PHP to some of the languages that I have mentioned previously in this video. So I think that this is a great opportunity if you know PHP or if you are willing to learn PHP that you can do some contracting or some freelance work for these companies and uh, maintain their, their PHP projects. So you've heard the four languages that I recommend that you should learn in 2020. And if you're comfortable with one of these languages or if you've chosen one of these languages to learn, I recommend immediately getting right into it, making a commitment and setting yourself accountable to leveling up in this skill. Um, this involves taking online courses, um, watching videos, watching experience, and this is just really just immersing yourself in the ecosystem of this language. You can become a very familiar and confident freelancer or consultant. And one of the best ways that I like to level up my programming skills is through online content. I personally have been on all of the different online uh, programming websites, and I have found Pluralsight to be my favorite. They offer some amazing courses in all of these different topics that I have just talked about. And I would highly recommend that you just try out their free trial. Um, I'm gonna have a link in the description, and that's actually an affiliate link, so it will uh, help support this channel as well if you would like to try out a free trial on Pluralsight and level up your skills. Thank you so much for sticking with this video, and the best word of advice that I can give you all is to just commit to one of these languages and really become a great 
um, freelancer or a consultant on this language. Um, it is much easier just to get started and set yourself on a curriculum than to spend more time considering the various, uh, the various other options, the various other languages, and the various other jobs. So if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more.